Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download install and configure MySQL Server 9.4 on Windows 10 or 11 operating systems. But the process is same on all Windows servers as well. First go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Then click on downloads. Then scroll down. See here, we have the MySQL community downloads. Click on it. Then select the MySQL community server. Then see here the latest version 9.4.0. Okay, then select the operating system Microsoft Windows. See once we selected, see here we have the MSI installer. We have to download. So click on this download button. Then click on no thanks, just start my download. See download started. Go to downloads. See here its size is 170 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Once download completes, then we will install it. In meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See download is completed. Now click on this MSI file to install. Then click on next. Then select I accept the terms in the license agreement. Then click on next. See, now we have to select the setup type. Typical custom and complete. I am going to select complete. Then click on install. See completed the MySQL server setup wizard. Okay, now keep the checkbox that is run MySQL configurator. Then click on finish. Now see here we have the MySQL server configurator console. So click on next. See this is the data directory location. If you want some other location, just click on this and select the path. Okay. Then click on next. See and now select the type and networking. So config type. We have these three options: development computer, server computer, and dedicated computer. Okay. And TCP IP port. 3306 X protocol port 33060 and if you want to give name and pipe some other name you have to select this one and you have to provide the name ok if you want to see the advanced and logging options you have to select the checkbox ok it is up to you select it then click on next now you have to set up user root account password remember this password then if you want to create user click on add user then click on next see here this is the name in windows services ok if you want some other just give whatever you want ok under startup type start the mysql server at system startup and run windows services standard system account or if you want custom you have to select here ok i want to go with standard system account then click on next then this is the server file permissions so select the yes grant full access to the user running with windows service then click on next see these are the logging options ok i am going with the defaults this is also default if you want to create sample databases you have to select this one later we can delete them ok click on next now ready to apply the configurations if you want to modify any one of them then you have to click on back and you can edit ok i am ok with all the settings then click on execute to apply the, these configurations so click on execute successfully applied configurations then click on next if you want to copy the logs just click on copy log to clipboard otherwise click on finish now go to all applications then go to mysql folder see here we have the mysql folder then select the mysql 9.4 command line client select it then provide the password of the root account make it bold click on ok click on ok now provide the password of the root account that I have set see we have connected to mysql server version 9.4.0 you can also verify the same by running select version now verify list of databases show databases see these are the default databases except this cycle and all are the sample databases now create a database create database now verify the same see we have created database bank now switch to this database and create a table to switch to database we have to run the command use then provide the name of the database see database changed so tables i try to clear the screen but it's not working show tables See, we don't have any table. Let us create table. Create table.
see how table let us insert some data into this table See, we have inserted these rows. Now, create user. Before that, we the list of the users. Show users, this won't work, but we can get the list of the users by running command. Select user from MySQL dot user. See, these are the default users that comes with MySQL installation. Let us create user. Create user David identified. We have to give password in single or double quotes, whatever is the, okay. Now it pay the same. See, we have created user David, okay. The last option that I want to show you is go to Windows Run, then services.msc, then go to MySQL. See, here we have the MySQL. If you want, see, status is running, and if you want to restart, right click and restart and if you want to stop click on stop or just select the service from here then we have the off links here stop and restart and also see here we have the buttons to stop and restart okay and next is we will see how to download and install mysql workbench and connect this mysql server 9.4 okay so go to mysql again mysql.com Then click on downloads. Then again go to MySQL downloads. Then click on MySQL workbench. Then select the Microsoft Windows. Then download this MSI installer. Now then just start my download. Go to download. See here, the size is 43 megabytes. See we have successfully downloaded. Click on this MSI file. Click on next. Click on next. Next. Install. See, you have successfully installed. Keep the checkbox that is launch MySQL workbench and click on finish. Then click on this plus button. Then provide the name MySQL 94. This is just connection name. MySQL is installed on this one. So, look back IP is fine. Port number 3306. Store in vault. Then provide the password. Click on OK. Then click on test connection. See successfully made the MySQL connection. Click on OK, then click on OK, then click on it. See you have successfully connected. See this is the administration tab. This is go to schema. See here we have the same databases. Okay. So in this video we have seen how to download, install, and configure MySQL Server 9.4 on Windows operating systems. Okay. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.